Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about SF Bay Coffee once again. We're going back into that mystery box that they sent me. This is going to be the review on the Kona Blend. These are the eco-friendly K-Cup pods with almost no plastic on them whatsoever. So they're super, super good for the environment, super good for the planet. So in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said pods. After that, I'm going to throw those bad boys over to the K-Mini and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee. After that, I'm going to do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee, and I think this one is going to be a medium roast. After that, we're going to figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people. It does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's go ahead and check out this giant box. This is a beast of a box. The story of their mystery gift box continues all right so up in the top left you have the name of the company san francisco bay coffee a rogers family company this is a 80 pack yes people 81 cup coffee pods that is what's up people these things are certified compostable this is the kona blend i've never had this a day in my life it is a medium roast as you can see right there all right kona hawaii central america kona Hawaii and Central America. Balance smooth with a sweet finish. Now that is what I enjoy. I am big on the sweet finish. In ingredients, Arabica coffee. All right, let's take a look at the side over here. A little bit more about these pods. Pause it if you want to read it. Ooh, this box is big enough they can really give you a lot of information. Pause it if you want to read it once again. Boom shakalaka. More on their family-owned company. All right, let's get inside this box, people. Oh! All right, let's take a look at this compostable bag. So this is basically like any bag of ground coffee or whole bean coffee you buy. It has a one-way valve because you have fresh ground coffee in here that's going to release CO2 and it needs a place for it to go. Otherwise, the bag will explode, people. Boom, shakalaka. I like how they put the fresh by date on the bag itself and the name of the blend right there. That's really cool because if you had a bunch of these out and you had a bunch of different coffees, you may get very confused very easily just by looking at the bag. This bag, of course, is compostable which means you can put the grounds back into here put it back into the earth and revitalize our planet people instead of taking all right let's take a look at the pods people all right okay so this is the least enjoyable uh name i've seen it looks like they literally just stamped it on there um very plain very straightforward that is very interesting um i usually am very happy with the way they put the name of the coffee on there but this is more like kona blend almost like military or something that is quite funny the aroma that's coming off of here is bitter it's sweet it's fresh it's very very inviting very interesting smell um cannot wait to get this bad boy into the k mini and brew up a nice hot cup of coffee all right let's get over to the k mini once again grab out our k pods people that is what's up All right, let's get into the sip review, people. Woo! So that smells absolutely bizarre. It has like a bitter smell to it. Very, very interesting smell for sure. This is going to be a two-parter. So this is the LO mug right here I'm reviewing. So that video should drop on my channel just after this one does. So look forward to that. Um, but this is just gonna be a straightforward coffee review for this portion right now. Um, this has a very similar ceramic 
to my normal mug so I'm not too worried about it having any funky tastes and messing up this portion of the review. But the smell is definitely bonkers, people. It is very, very strange. All right, let's get into this Kona blend, people. Woo! Woo! Ooh, that's hot. Whoa! That's hot coffee right there, people. Woo! Very, very interesting. Wow. Okay, so you got this sort of smoky, um, earthy, kind of sweet taste actually it's not bitter um it's oddly not bitter <laughs> it has a little hint of what i like to call a little bit of cardboard taste diner coffee taste um but i could be off on that the aftertaste is definitely enjoyable it's smooth um the initial hit is definitely a strong punch and then it's like a, a very mild and then it's a smooth after very very interesting that is some hot coffee people I don't know if that uh, thermometer is working anymore. It definitely seems a little bit hotter than 140, but uh, woo, let's go back in. Yeah, wow. So all around the lips, very, very sweet. The roof of the mouth is sort of like this nutty, earthy taste. Um, you have a very airy, sort of fresh, you have a very fresh taste that's going on. Um, definitely a unique blend. It's definitely unique. It's not the standard blend that's out there. It has, ooh, it's very complex. This is very complex. It's not a simple, straightforward taste. Um, it's definitely not bitter by any means, but it's it's strong. So it's, it's very, oh, and it's hot. <laughs> They usually say, drink your coffee between 130 and 140. This is 140 and up. <laughs> so the flavor is there. It's strong, but it's not as strong as if it was 130, 132. Um, yeah, okay, so it definitely has this sort of watery, um, sweet, earthy, nutty taste to it that really has, um, yeah, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. The aftertaste, the taste around my lips, very sweet, very inviting. And it's got that like come back for more taste, which is what you want out of coffee. You do not want to be drinking coffee and just slowly feel like you should stop and, <laughs> and pour it out, which happens sometimes if it's something that you just cannot handle too strong, whatever it may be, too sweet. Some people don't like sweet coffee. They think, ugh, too sweet. Yeah, that is very complex. Um, I think the Kona blend, there's something about it that stands out that's very unique, a little bit different than most blends out there. Um, and I'm definitely getting a, a slight, um, that's very interesting. I've tasted this taste before. I've had it before, but I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. There's something that floats around. I, I said earlier, cardboard, it may be that diner, that diner coffee taste. Um, yeah, it's very, very interesting. Wow. Yeah, as it cools, it's getting um, a little bit more jagged so that the flavor notes are kind of spiking off a little bit more. I did just get a slight bitter taste, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, it definitely has this sort of like balance and smoothness. It's got that airiness. Um, it's it's neither too weak nor too strong. It's truly right in the middle. And typically I don't really enjoy medium coffees. I don't enjoy the medium roast. I'm more of a dark roast or extra dark roast. I want that flavor to hit me hard and I want it to have a smooth, sweet aftertaste. And that's usually what I go for is a strong, sweet-ish coffee. Um, this one is definitely right down the middle. I would say it stands out from other medium roasts out there. I would say that if you bought this and you were a fan of medium roasts, you might say this is um, different <laughs> and it has more of a punchy flavor. Definitely interesting. Um, 
for a medium roast, I'm going to give it a solid 4.5 star rating. But for a regular cup of coffee, comparing it to all the best coffees out there, I'm just going to give it a 4.1. I'm going to say it's not hitting all the flavor notes. It's good. It definitely has that premium coffee taste, but it's not like firing off on all cylinders. And I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. Now, a Kona blend, whole bean, pour over. Woo! That could be the secret right there. That could be the secret. So definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to see me sip test a pour over Kona blend that may happen coming up. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so solid, solid coffee. Um, I'm not really getting any sort of idea of how you would consume it and what you would eat with it. Um, it definitely has that like all day coffee. So if you work somewhere and you saw a Kona blend, you probably would enjoy it throughout the day. It probably would not bother you. You wouldn't get annoyed with it. It has enough flavor that makes you want that second sip. And that is very, very important that it's enjoyable at the end and it wants you to come back and it's calling, <laughs> it's calling for you and it's saying drink more. So definitely a daily consumption, not something you're going to wake up to and be like, yes, I have this coffee. It's not that one, um, but it's close and it's good. And you're going to buy it. You're going to enjoy it. And you're going to comment down below, maybe. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's the SF Bay Kona Blend Pods. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time you get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 4K. Yes, people, on my way to 5K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.